Hi, it's Mika Fasting Weight Loss, and today is day 150 of my fasting weight loss journey. I'm doing OMAD one meal a day, intermittent fasting, and water fasting for weight loss. Oh boy, yesterday I was supposed to fast. <laughs> Yesterday, man, I have so many sad faces. I get a sad face. Sad face because I didn't fast, but I did do one meal. I did a calorie counting meal which I don't want to count calories, okay? But I just felt like I had to yesterday. So this is what happened. <sighs> and I did not go to the gym. I just went to work and I came home. It was not the best day. Okay, so I did my first client who came from, he he's at University of Arizona for one month. I mean, for one semester, I think. And he flew back. And I think just for the weekend, he got his hair done. He was number one. And he works out every single day because he's training for MMA fights and boxing fights, which I enjoy speaking to him. Second one, um, we talked about entrepreneurship. Um, and I was running a little bit late on him. Like, it was taking a little bit too much time. I tried to... This is weight loss related, okay? <laughs> I was trying to... I try to schedule so I have zero breaks. Like as soon as you go into the dryer, the next person's in my seat and then you switch and then that's how I want my whole day. I only had three people for t yesterday because I try not to do so many people anymore. Um, this is just not where my heart is anymore. I want to make money other ways. Okay, but I still got to do it because that's how I pay my bills. Um, so then I think I did my second one. I was doing my second one and one of my clients that... He doesn't ever know his schedule. He came in and tried to get in for today. I was like, okay, Mika, you're not going to be lazy. I actually need the money right now. So I told him, okay, he could come later, but call me so I could give you a better estimate. So he was going to call me at two. So then I'm running late on the second client. So the third client, I text them and I say, come. I was trying to tell them, come 15 minutes later because I'm running late on this person. I do not like to wait and I don't like my customers to wait. So he was like, okay, cool. So then he should have been there 115. His original appointment was one, one o'clock. So at 130, he's still not there. And my clients know I don't do lateness. So I was like, what the heck? So then I looked at the text and I had told him 215. Oh, I was upset. Cause that's, that throws everything out of whack. And it wastes time. So now I have a whole hour to sit here and resist nachos and the shake store. And I was already not feeling great about fasting yesterday. So I was like, dang it, I have all this time. Okay, so then I text him and said, will you please come as soon as possible? Um, I made a mistake telling you to come at 2.15 instead of 1.15. Okay, so then he's like, um, I think he had went back to sleep or something. So he ended up coming at about 2.08. Um, and, or maybe a little earlier and it's so funny. I don't know why my computer, wow. You guys are not going to get a quote because my computer keeps restarting and I had it sitting there. It's not in my quote book. Okay. So why the heck did I decide to just cheat? Okay. So I went to the snack store. I got a Doritos and I got a little, I wanted sugar. I know this is so bad. So I got a little tiny Mexican candy coconut thingy and I'm walking to the checkout and then my client, cause that candy store is the first store when you walk in the mall and my client saw me and he was like, oh, is your shop open? I was like, yeah, it's cause my other client was in there. I shut the gate and it's fine to leave them like that for five minutes. Okay. They just have to open the gate. So, um, I was like, dang it, let me hurry up. So then the security was online before me and my client had already gotten here and I was thinking, man, you should not be eating this. So I just decided to put everything back. I put everything back and I made it to the, I went and did my other two clients. I ended up leaving my job without eating any food. Um, 
And then my other client, he really got messed up. Like with times and stuff, the time I asked him to please be here, he was still 20 minutes away. So I was like, never mind. We could do it today. So he's the only person I'm doing today. Okay. So then I went to the grocery store. I was like, okay, you're going to make good choices because you're going to be embarrassed tomorrow. So at least make it good food choices. That's not what I wanted to do, but that's what I decided. So I went to the grocery store. Um, I bought some things and I was like, you're either going to have the pudding or you're going to have your Chick-fil-A chicken strips. And I was feeling tired after working and stressed and stuff. Um, so this is what I ended up having. Um, a self-serve salad from the salad bar. A, a small one. I usually get a giant large one, which I don't think is bad, but I got a small one. Um, I made the shirataki noodles, which is 10 calories. Um, I actually calorie counted. Um, I used half blue cheese yogurt dressing, which is 35 calories, and the real blue cheese craft, 120 or 140 calories. I had I had half that, half that. Then I had a whole box of sugar-free pudding. That was 100 calories. And with it, I put two ounces of cream cheese, or one ounce, one and a half ounces of cream cheese, monk fruit, which is zero calories, and one and a half cups of almond milk was 30, 45 calories. So the sugar-free pudding was about 200 and something calories. I didn't add this, oh yeah, I did add it. 535 from my calories, plus I don't know however much the cream cheese was. So those were my calories. I was just trying to stay low and to make good choices. Um, the sugar-free pudding is not a good choice, but I'm still okay with that. Um, and I'm not feeling fasting today. And I, I like to apologize because I feel obligated to try hard. And if I'm not trying hard, I want to apologize, okay? And I do feel responsible to do better. Um, so now... I came home from work. Why was there water still in the tub? February 6th is when I gave the letter, which was really a maintenance request to my apartment complex. They've come maybe twice over the last, I don't know, like almost 20 days. And I still don't have a working bathtub. So I just put Drano in there. I'm going to try to flush it with some hot water. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to, I'm only doing one client. Then I'm going to come home and get my kids. We're going to go work out and we're going to take a shower at the dang gym because I don't know it's going to be ready. And I only have one bathroom. So that is so annoying, but I try to stay positive um, because some people don't even have running hot water in their house. So I try to look at the bright side. I will be at the property manager tomorrow. And if they do not get it fixed within the next day or two, I'm going to call corporate and show them all the documentation of me trying to get my dang bathroom bathtub fixed. Like that's an emergency. How is it from February 6th till now? And I keep giving him the same letter and putting second request, third request, fourth request. He's like, Miss Clark, you keep putting second, third request, but we've had people out there. Uh, but it's not fixed. Okay. I'm not too stressed about that right now. I'm thankful I have the gym. It's just inconvenient, but I need to go to the gym anyway. <laughs> okay, so the weight. <sighs> the weight is my OMAD diet, intermittent fasting 23 1 because it's 23 hours fast and one hour eating was is 209.6 that's minus 1.6 i know some people probably think what the heck is wrong with you you're just dragging this out you guys i'm just taking it one day at a time and right now this is just my accountability so that i just report to you guys how i did um, I don't know. I'm just trying to take it day by day. I did want to get to 199 yesterday and I always sabotage it. I know that. I don't know. That's what it is. So thank you for watching. No quote. It was a great quote about being different because you guys know I like to be different. I like to be me. I like to use the information I have acquired over 41 years in every area of life. And I like to just be me without pressure from everybody else using their expertise in what they think is right or the only way. I don't take well to when you think your way is the only way or you think you know the perfect way to everything. I just don't like that. And I want to portray that. I want to try to portray it in a positive way. Um, so my poor computer, I don't know. That's it, bye.